Introducing the Nexus 360, D'Addario's first rechargeable omnidirectional tuner. Visible at every turn, from any angle, no matter where you wind up. Nexus 360, built for your next stage. Paul, I'm going to put you on the spot, and uh, hopefully you're going to make one man out there, but we all know, <laughs> Ross Hurt, very happy, because uh, people trying to chase down your tunings, it's been quite elusive trying to go yeah, down that I've road. Looked, I've read some some conversations about that, because I've, you know, I haven't been like super secretive about yeah. it, but I've talked to a few people, and some people try to figure it out, but... Um, Lay it on us. Well, like, there's two different tunings for Shiner, actually okay. three, but, but the, ma the main, like, the the main shiner tuning is um, it's a unison tuning and um, it's C G C and then C again so sounds kind of silly yeah but you know when Let's you see I hear it so I'm actually playing with my thumb and my second finger that's what I'm using to note on everything so it kind of sounds like this Man. at what point of the the shiner catalog did you kind of from the jump the very first day i joined shiner we were on uh, my old band, Season of Risk, we were on tour with a band named Glaze Baby, good friends of ours. Josh was in that band. And um, Shiner was out on tour with us, and um, at, they're, they're weren't happy with their bass player situation, and I was kind of in a transitional time. And yeah. they were like, you play bass with us? And I said yes. And then the next day, I think we were in Atlanta, and then the next day we were in Pensacola, and I'm sitting in the van playing my bass, and um, Glaze Baby, who were a ballistic noise band, you know, and they would, uh, they did this crazy tuning sometimes where they would do a unison on like the, on the high strings, and then slightly detune it, so it just made this crazy, weird, modulated sound, and I was fucking with that idea. And I came up with this tuning, and then, as soon as, you know, as soon as I got back and kind of went through the process of me leaving the band and joining Shiner, the Alan had written a couple of songs already for the f uh, for the first record with me, Lula Divinia, and um, and yeah, just kind of right out of the box, the tuning that I came up with matched up with the riffs he was writing, and it just happened like that.